Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We're going to talk today about several ways to import a lot to your footage in different uh, platforms uh, as Final Cut Pro, uh, DaVinci Resolve, uh, Premiere and with different plugins that we have um, different options to do it. Obviously this is a tutorial for beginners but as many as you asked about how to apply LUTs in an easy way because it's maybe <clears throat> confusing for some of you we decided to do this simple tutorial so yeah let's go let's start with Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro. and uh, let's start uh, applying the LUT directly to the clip this is one option when you apply the LUT here if you see basic here you won't see how to apply the LUT but you can go to extended or, or general um, or settings let's go to general in camera LUT option you can apply some of the different built-in LUTs that Final Cut Pro has in it but uh, you can even add custom camera LUTs here you will see this pop-up um, window you can choose one of your own LUTs if you want uh, for example this one so it's going to change all your instances in the timeline because you are changing here the source clip and you're applying the LUT directly to this clip and not to the instance in the timeline as an effect so this is a less flexible method that can work for some occasions it depends if you have a very consistent footage and you need a quick you know um, edit or a quick grade this is a nice way to do it but uh, let's put it off again let's say here no so we have the log file again the other way to do it is to go to effects here open the effects window go to color and drag custom LUT directly to one of your clips in the timeline and here you're going to choose the ones that you have loaded in your folder that here in revealing finder you'll see the folder that Final Cut uses it's a bit tricky the you know the path so you will see that it's in library it's in your user library application support pro apps custom LUTs and here you can drag your LUTs so everything will show here in the menu the next time you open it so in this case we have uh, Joel for example here and this way you have a bit of more flexibility because you can mix the LUT with the original footage and apply it 100% or maybe a bit less if you are going to do something later on the grade and the flexibility of this also allows you to put another effect on top of this one so your LUT is the last thing applied so you can apply the LUT as a first step or as a last step it depends on the kind of grade that you want to do as you see it only affects this instance on the timeline you know is different to the previous method that affects everything let's go to one of our favorite um, plugins for Final Cut that is Color Finale Pro this way you can open controls here this cube is for applying LUTs you choose your folder here and we, we have already chosen you choose the folder, select and then automatically it loads here all of the LUTs that you have in, in that folder so for this one for example 
you can see all of them in the gallery hide gallery and here again you can adjust the opacity and if you are going to apply different layers like uh, color wheels or curves you can change the position of your LUT layer so you can play more with uh, the result it's like doing that here in Final Cut Pro but with this amazing plugin that we use a lot and last but not least I want to show you this free app that you have available online it's called MLAT super nice simple to use you apply this as an effect and imagine that you want to do a, a fast rate but you want some control to you know to control the exposure or maybe match some of the shots with a simple grade uh, you come here to the MLAT library you have different uh, presets here already included with the plugin so you can load your own LUT and once loaded again you have here a lot of control because you can control here the level of the highlights the mid-tones shadows if you want to crush a bit your image I mean it's a, it's a fast correction but sometimes you don't have time or the budget to do more complex corrections you know so you can change here the contrast even the hue and saturation and, and even you can apply some grain here change the amount of grain so that's it uh, these are the ways that we usually use in Final Cut Pro to apply LUTs and play with our footage as a starting point or as a final touch for our grade so we are now in DaVinci Resolve so it's super easy to apply LUTs here in DaVinci uh, let's look the easiest way to do it you go to your node in this case double click or right click with the mouse go to LUTs let's go to no LUT this is the original footage and um, now double click again you go to LUTs go here and you have here all the folders for the different LUTs to apply in this case again this is uh, Panasonic so let's go to look to Rec 709 so let's go here uh, let's go VLOG to 709 that's a way to do it and the way to import your own LUTs it's super easy too you go here to the project settings window and uh, go here to color management you'll see this okay so you come here to open LUT folder again to see the the path where everything is you know positioned all these folders for the different LUTs that you just saw before and uh, this way you can import and insert here dragging your own LUTs like for example our legend pack you can copy and paste here so it's here already so we go here update lists save and now when you want to apply your LUT you come here in 3D LUTs you will have the legend pack here already so yeah you can apply wherever you want and that's the way to do it um, again if you feel that uh, your LUT is too strong or you want to give it only a subtle touch we'll explain that in another tutorial but here in Resolve you only have to select uh, here the key output so this layer is like working with the opacity that you want to you know not so 
heavy. And then in Adobe Premiere Pro, uh, you go to the color tab and input LUT. Uh, let's do it. Okay, you are you have edited your footage, you go to color, go to basic correction, browse, and apply your LUT. Super easy. You can do it in your footage or an adjustment la layer, which will give you more or flexibility to change later things and not affect the the other layer and yeah that's all so it's super easy to apply here so you can do it in the basic correction tab and you can skip the basic correction tab and apply the lat in the creative tab this way all the changes that you do in the basic correction would be applied to the original vlog file and then the lat effect will come later so guys i hope this was helpful for you especially for beginners if you like the tutorial please like and subscribe and yeah see you next week